<laughs> it's like an anti-Christmas club night, he said. I mean, no festive songs, no mistletoe, no eggnog. Sounds like my perfect Christmas, though. Oh, you're such a grumpy dross. Christmas isn't Christmas without a bit of Boney M. What's Boney M? Oh. As if I didn't feel old enough as it is. Wait, has eggnog got actual egg in it? Mm. You know what? That's one of the only alcoholic drinks that I've never tried. And obviously, I never will. I think it's a no secco Christmas for me. Why hasn't Grandad banned drinking this year anyway? Has he? Well, he mentioned a dry Christmas. I just said it might be a good idea, yeah. Because I can't be trusted? No, no, of course not. Because you can't be trusted, silly. Right, well, I'm off. Pray for me with these last-minute shoppers. Good luck. Trivial pursuit in my family, Stone Cold Sober. Are you sure that's what you really want, love? Yes, it actually sounds perfect. And look, also, you know, I'm happy on the wagon. You know, you don't all have to jump on it with me. It's called support. And talking of which, there's, um... There's a meeting later, sort of a Christmas family and friends special, so... So you want me to go? Well, yeah, I mean, only if you want to. There's no pressure. There's no red wine, but there's damn good biscuits. Why didn't you lead with that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> To you, for nailing a new client and really pulling it out of the bag when we needed it. Thanks. To me? Mm. I, uh, I messaged all the workers yesterday and they are buzzing. It's really nice to give them some good news for changing. Yeah. Oh, Sean sent me a four-minute voice note and Kirk sent me little dancing emojis. <laughs> Did he? Four minutes? What was he waffling on about? Oh, I don't know. I stopped listening after about 20 seconds, but he seemed very happy. Mm. <laughs> I really thought this place was going under, you know? I know. I've not done any Christmas shopping yet. I thought I might be unemployed January the 1st, so that's going to be a last-minute dash round the shops to get some toys. What about you? Are you, um, you set for tomorrow? Mentally, no. Also, present-wise, no. <laughs> I saw this 3D um, Titanic puzzle, maybe, for Peter. A jigsaw puzzle of a sinking ship? It doesn't really scream Christmas to me, Sarah. OK, maybe not. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, I've really drawn a blank with Peter this year. I just... I want him to open his present and I want to see that Peter's smile that's been missing for so long. Mm. Like an experience day, you could get him a racing car day. Sarah, you win the prize for most inappropriate prezzies ever. <laughs> oh, my gosh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, OK, maybe not. I'll just maybe stick to aftershave. Yes. Well, I don't think... That coffee machine, it's a waste of space. That frothy coffee is just style over substance anyway. Mm. You have a problem? It's a bit. No, no, no problem. Don't get the coffee. I heard that. Two of your finest cream horns, please, Evelyn. Need the sugar here, you know, I'm getting everything ready for tomorrow. Oh. I had two nice cups of my coffee as well, and not from that blasted machine. And then you can tell Madam here how nice it is. Okey dokes. Hey, I've heard on the grapevine you've made an offer for the pub. Grapevine's got a big gob on it. <laughs> what have you done? Robbed a bank? <laughs> I've got a. <laughs> no, um, I got I got a bank loan actually. Yeah. Huh. Mm. Interest rates will make your eyes water, but um, it, it means I'm going to be back where I belong, and that's what matters. Well, you know what? I totally agree. <sighs> that pub is part of you, like the patch is part of me, and I'd do anything for it, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, cheers to us. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, told you. <laughs> Jen, mm -hmm. I really do mean it. It's great about the pub. Well done. Yeah. All right, I'm just going I just want to remember the day. My daughter opening the prezzies, lighting the Christmas pud, turkey and pickle sarnies in the evening. I'm always passed out by tea time, so... This year... This year, I want the memories. Peter, 
How am I supposed to follow that? Hey. Mm. Thanks for that, Elaine. That was lovely. Uh, my name's Peter. I'm an alcoholic. Um, well, it's really simple for me, actually. Um, we'll probably watch It's a Wonderful Life with me dad, won't we? And as long as I'm surrounded by everyone I love, that's it, really. That's all I need for Christmas, so. You sure that's all you need? And socks. Some fluffy Christmas socks. It's been a tough year, actually, for us. We don't have to go into the details of it all, but... What's the point in being here if I'm not going to tell the truth? I know you too well. I know you're holding something back. Not here, eh? Not here, love. OK, sorry. Sorry, why not? Remember, this is a safe space, Peter. I've watched you going through the motions. It's like the light's gone out. I want to know what's going on. Nothing. Nothing. I'm sorry, I don't believe you. Sorry. Okay. I'm just... Uh, empty. I need to feel like my light's gone out and I don't know what to do about it. Just talking to Val yesterday, her son died and having his liver meant that I didn't. But for what? So there you go. I've got everything. But I feel like nothing. So why do you feel like that? Is it... Is it Stephen? Is no, it the guilt? No, no. Well, maybe. Look, I, I don't know, OK? I just feel like I'm plodding through life. Every day is the same. I'm not excited by anything. Oh, it's not your fault. It's my problem. Oh. oh, I don't know, look. It's, I'm probably just feeling sorry for myself, that's all. I'll be OK. It'll pass, as they say. So... What I really want for Christmas. Well, a bit of hope would do me. 